Greetings everyone, welcome back to another uh, YouTube video, and so, we are playing this, uh, another Danganronpa f uh, fan game. This one's called Danganronpa Hope Recreation, and so I'm playing this game a bit early, um, approximately a month early. <laughs> um, this game is supposed to release on April 1st, but I got it early, um, yeah. It's supposed to release, I'm pretty sure other people can still play it, because it was in a Discord server, but, um, it's supposed to get officially released on April 1st. Um, I don't know if, I'm, I don't know if I should upload this video now, or if I should upload it on April 1st, I'm still deciding that, but either way, um, if it gets uploaded on April 1st, then it gets uploaded on April 1st, and that's besides the point. Um, let's, let's start, let's start the game. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Danganronpa fan game. And Nicole. Finally! Hope's Peak Academy! They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. The school used to be located only in Japan, but after many years, they finally decided it was time to break tradition and build a second academy in Europe. More specifically, in Italy, my native country. Lucky me, I guess. Anyway, there are two requirements you need to attend this school. One, you must be the best at whatever you do. Two, you have to be already attending high school. I really, I really don't want to attend this school for many reasons. Okay. Uh, one of them being the tragedy that happened in Japan m many years ago. <laughs> but I couldn't turn down a chance like this, so I reluctantly accepted. And by reluctantly, I mean my family persuaded me to join the academy. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm Nicole Mang Mangardo. I may not look like an ultimate, but I am. I'm the ultimate... <laughs> as well as the ultimate lucky student. Yeah. Or, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Another thing about this school is that a person can have more than one talent. Kinda cool, eh? It's just fucking Nagito, bro. <laughs> Rose wearing the Rose wearing the freaking Nagito drip, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of nervous. I don't know how long this game is. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Anyway, like here I am standing in front of the infamous Hope's Peak Academy. But still, I can't just stay here frozen in place forever. I am technically a student here, so I shouldn't be nervous, right? Uh, just suck it up, Nicole, and enter the academy. God, I must look crazy right now. Uh. Ooh. Yep, just dang on romp of stuff. That, yep, that's what's happening. Uh, the first and the fourth. Okay. Uh. What happened? Oh. W wait a second. Where the heck am I? And what was I doing sleeping on a desk? Okay, Nicole, calm down. There's no reason to. Before I could collect my thoughts, the classroom door opened. Oh, oh. Um, Omar, someone is is here. Hey, hey, are you okay? Yeah, okay. Maybe she doesn't speak English. Really, Omar? Check Kavolu sta suken dendo. Huh? Told you. Fear not. I, the great Omar, speak a bit of Spanish. Um, can I get your nombre? <laughs> I don't think mixing Spanish and English together is gonna do it. Also, I'm pretty sure that she spoke Italian, not Spanish. Ah, so sorry about not responding. I just need a minute to make sense of the situation. Oh, well, don't apologize. That's understandable, considering the situation we are in. So, um, are you guys Hope's Peak students too? Yes, we are. Sorry. Sorry. I haven't introduced myself. I'm Kari Takahashi, the ultimate fashion designer. Ultimate fashion designer, I see. <laughs> man next to me is Omar. First of all, <laughs> how dare you? Second, it's Omar Amohachi, the ultimate soldier, not the ultimate homeless man. <laughs> Voice acting, yeah. 
Ultimate Soldier. What's up, Ultimate Soldier? A fashion designer and a soldier. Kind of an odd pair, right? Nice to meet you both. Likewise. And you are... Uh, oh! Nicole Mangardo, the ultimate lucky student. Ultimate lucky... Uh, ultimate lucky student, eh? You must be very fortunate then. Eh, not really. My luck is kinda average. Bro's just Nagi to us. <laughs> Why does he keep look- Why does he look disappointed after hearing so? that? In that case, uh, let's skip talent introductions. Uh, tell us more about yourself. Myself? Well, I am- I'm a straight A student. I excel at every subject except PE. I live in Genova. And, um, yeah, that's about it, really. Oh, I was like books. Oh, shit, I didn't see that. Man. That was... That was really bad. A straight-A student. That's so cool. Uh, it's nothing, really. Uh, now, now, don't be modest. I'm uh, not being modest. Anyone could get an A if they study. Not gonna lie. Studying is overrated, dude. For reason. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Omar? Uh, uh, Nothing. <laughs> You're the nerd. Uh, anyway, do you guys know what's going on? And why was I sleeping in this classroom? No, not really. Just like you and the others, we woke up in an empty classroom. Others? He means the other ultimates. The other ultimates are also here? <laughs> yep. Just as Omar said, we all woke up in an empty classroom. We introduced ourselves and immediately started investigating. Why are you guys investigating? Well, no one here remembers how they got into this school. For instance, the last thing I remember is being in my apartment eating tempura when I suddenly blacked out for no reason and woke up in an empty classroom. So it wasn't just me. No. Nope. Everyone here doesn't know why or how they got into this school. <laughs> That's why we decided to investigate, to find the answer as to why we are here. So everyone here woke up and no memories with no memories of how they got in? Strange. Nicole. Anyway, uh, Nicole, you haven't met the other Ultimates, have you? No, I haven't. Obviously. Would you like me to introduce you to them? It might be a good idea to get acquainted with the others before I investigate. Yeah, I like that a lot. Well, you guys go do that. I'll continue investigating the other classrooms. Alrighty, just be An careful. Fucking soldier. <laughs> they should be careful of me! After that comment, Omar left the classroom with a giant grin on his face. We should also head out. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, okay, next to us are two classrooms. Some ultimates are investigating that are next to us. Huh? Oh, which one do you want to go first? Two classrooms, eh? Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. I guess uh, the classroom next to us. Alrighty, let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> what about vegetables? For veg for vegetables, a lot of things can be said. But again, you should always make sure to eat two or three a day. That's right. Uh, you again? Hey, Kari, can you please tell... The little kid looked at me before finishing a sentence. Uh. Um, who might you be, miss? I'm Nicole Mangardo, ultimate lucky student. That's quite the sh That's quite the shitty talent, very fitting for a girl like you. Excuse me? Uh, can't you be nice to- Can't you be nice to any girl that walks in? Nope. <sighs> I'm so sorry about her. Also, nice to meet you, Nicole. The name's Leo Campbell. I may be 11, but I'm the ultimate babysitter. Okay. Why is there a fucking 11 year old in here, dude? It's a fucking ultimate babysitter as well. What the fuck? <laughs> this kid has such a soft voice. You're a babysitter? Yeah, I am. Is there a problem with that? No, I'm just surprised that an 11 year old could be a babysitter. Well, in most areas, there's really no age restriction to become a babysitter and luckily for me, I live in one of those areas. That's good, I suppose, but you're just a kid. It's a Maki situation, bro? Bro's an assassin? And <laughs> fucking no. Don't you ever get tired from babysitting children though? I will admit, it does get tiring at times, but I don't mind it one bit. Seeing children smile and and the happiness in their parents' eyes makes it more than worth it, if you ask me. Bro, they're your age! <laughs> but I won't lie and say I don't also do it for the money. Bro, you just fucking, you know, 
You get paid to have friends. That's that's your whole that's your whole thing, dude. That you're not a babysitter. You're just getting paid to have friends. <laughs> I see. Uh, this kid is definitely gonna grow up to be an amazing person. Super cute. Leo is such a precious cinnamon roll. I could just eat him up. Shut the fuck up. Please don't. What about what about your friend next to you? Hmm. Can you introduce yourself? What the fuck? I'm not telling what the fuck. F fugly? Um, uh, can you please introduce yourself to them? What the fuck is with this guy? Or this girl? Whatever. Huh. Rose a cross dresser? Okay. <laughs> I'm. The fuck? Ultimate cross dresser? You don't know what a cross dresser is? Pathetic! No, I do. I just don't. I just want to know what you do as the ultimate cross dresser. What the fuck? Oh my god, is this bitch serious? That is such a stupid ass question. I'm not even gonna answer it. Oh, the fuck? Can you please explain your talent to them? <laughs> so, what I do as the ultimate cross dresser is rather simple. I can both dress up or disguise myself as any boy. It doesn't matter if the boy is fictional or re real person. I can mimic his height, weight, and voice perfectly. That's actually a useful talent. But aren't you both a bit too young to be high school student? I'm sorry, did I say you can speak? Don't you know it's rather rude to interrupt someone talking? But I thought... You skank, are you the same? Well, uh, are all... Uh, you skanks are all the same, acting all nice and pretty just to make boys like you. It's both disgusting and pathetic. It's, I, that's not, I didn't. Amelia, what? Can't you see you're making Nicole uncomfortable? Please apologize to her. Do I look like I care? This skank is just like the other girls. Amelia. A stupid bitch who should just kill herself. Amelia? <laughs> oh my god, Amelia, can you just, or can you please shut up? So shut the fuck up, bro. That's what you're supposed to say, bro. Okay. You this every time a girl walks into the room and it's becoming really annoying. But, but Amelia? No butts. Apologize right this instant. I'm sorry. I'll stop. Thank you. <laughs> Nicole, I'm really sorry about her behavior. It's okay. It's not okay. You were clearly uncomfortable. I'm so sorry. I deeply apologize for her actions. I'll make sure she doesn't talk to anyone like this ever again. Thanks, Leo. Also, in response to the question you asked, technically, yes, but for me, I was already in high school since I skipped a couple of grades. And as for Amelia, she said she had to take an IQ test and barely made it into this academy. An IQ test? There wasn't anything written on the website involving an IQ test. Strange. Could the academy be trying to? No, not possible. Even if they try to do something like that, it's impossible. Hey, Amelia. Yes? I can't bring myself uh, to talk to her at, this, at the moment. Forget it, we should probably get going. Already? I see. Well, okay then. It was nice chatting with you, Nicole. You too, Leo. Let's go, uh, let's go Yukari. Okie dokie. I'll see you kids around. Shit. See ya. Damn, bro, these, these, these people are insane. For an 11 year old, Leo is incredibly, incredibly well-mannered and smart, not to mention kind. Though, I can't say the same for Amelia. She's the complete opposite of Leo. Rude, a complete bitch, and an obnoxious brat. I really hope I don't run into her again. Uh, you have gained one friendship point with Leo, okay? You have gained zero friendship points with Amelia. After our interaction with Emi that brat and Leo, we decide to go to the other classroom. Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Ash Darnox. Yeah, but then I realized uh, it was just makeup. Oh, Yukari, you're back. Am I inter interrupting you guys? Not at all. N nope, not at all. We were just talking about some stuff. <laughs> what kind of stuff? I would rather not share. Do you guys know each other? Huh? Do you, do you and Yukari know each other before joining Hope's Peak? No. Oh no, we just met like an hour ago. Ash, on the other hand, I do know. Me and him used to be classmates. She points to the guy sitting next to her. Awesome. I don't believe we met Rando. The name the, was Sarah oh. Laurie. 
I'm the ultimate speedrunner. The Lacero Ori. Lacero Ori. Okay. The ultimate speedrunner, bro. Okay. Speedrunner. To summarize it, I can finish games really fast, which, in my opinion, is boring. Like, every game I play is super easy. Broken finish, like, like, the any percent speedrun in fucking, like, like, 2.5 milliseconds or something? I don't fucking know. Uh, give me a, give me a challenge, damn it. Like, it says, uh, like, it says a lot when I can break the world record of 40 games in one day. 40 games in one day? Mm hmm One of those games being Elder's Necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of it before? <laughs> that game, uh, uh, the game that takes like three months to beat? Yep, that game is super easy and not even that hard. Bro fucking beat Elder, Elden Ring in fucking a day. <laughs> I finished it under five minutes blindfolded. Bro, what the f- <laughs> What? I don't know what's more impressive. The fact that she beat the game in under five minutes or the fact that she did it blindfolded. That's pretty amazing. It's n nothing really, I just like playing video it's games. Overrated. However, if you ask me, I think that speedrunning is overrated. Why is that? Let's just say the community could get toxic at times and leave it at that. And this guy has been staring at me ever since we walked in. Can I help you? Uh, what the fuck? Uh, what's the deal with this guy? Did I do something to offend him? What, what is it, Ash? Oh, I completely forgot to introduce you. Sorry about that. Uh over here is Ash Darnox, the ultimate fisherman. The reason why he can't speak is because he's mute. Loser. <laughs> Bro can't speak. Damn, Ash. Fuck. Now I feel like a bitch. Nice to meet you, Ash. I'm Nicole Mangardo, the ultimate lucky student. Gives a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, ultimate lucky student, you must be very fortunate then. Why does everyone say that? More or less. So what brings you guys here? <laughs> Nothing really, just showing the color around and introducing her to the others. Cool, cool. Since we're on the topic about the others, you should probably watch out for the green-haired kid. A green-haired kid. Why? It's overrated. Oh, okay. I don't know why, uh, but she has some sort of beef with every chick here. For example, she called me, and I quote, a dumb whore whose only purpose in life is to be used as a cum dumpster. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I immediately left afterwards and didn't cry. I swear I didn't cry. She definitely cried. She most likely cried. <laughs> she did cry. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? So yeah, just watch out for her. Uh, okay. A green haired kid. Sorry to cut this short, Nicole. But we should probably get going if you want to meet the other ultimates. Yeah, you're right. It was nice meeting you, Lakaro and Ash. Waves goodbye. <laughs> Come back soon. Okay. Where to next? Lakaro and Ash are really nice. I hope I can spend more time with them and get to know them better. When the opportunity presents itself, that's exactly what I'm going to do. You have gained one friendship point with Lakaro. You have gained one friendship point with Ash. Okay. Okay, that's everyone in this area. Also, before we continue, I think we should probably wait for Omar. He's probably done investigating the other classrooms by now. Okay. And as if on cue... You guys, wait for me! Uh, Omar? <laughs> right on cue. Wait for me, guys! Uh, from the distance, my... My eyes... Um... The, from the distance of my eyes, I see Omar running towards us carrying another guy. Guess who just finished investigating the sword room and kidnapped? Uh, I mean, uh, found another student. This guy. Wait, what was that about the kidnapping part? You can put me down now, Omar. Oh, right. Oh, oh right. My bad. Thank you. It's okay. So, are you guys like Omar's friends? Yeah, we are. By the way, I'm Yukari Takahashi, the ultimate fashion designer, and I'm Nicole Mangardo, ultimate lucky student. Cool talent. I guess I should also introduce myself. I'm the ultimate storyteller. Watanabe. I know every story or fairy tale has ever existed. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's actually impressive. Way better than the ultimate lucky students, if I'm being honest. Ultimate storyteller, that's such an amazing talent. So you know every story to have ever been written? Yeah. Then do you know less miserableness? 
the story that's the story that centers on the character Jean Val Valjean, an ex-convict in 19th century France. Yeah, I know that one. The ending of him dying after re re reuniting with his adopted daughter uh, Cosette is truly beautiful. What about oh, what about Antigone or La Boite um, Merveille? <laughs> uh, Antigone is a shitty story. The girl, the girl could have lived if she had just minded her business. And La Boite um, Merveille is meh. It's basically a slice of life book, starting with uh, City Mohammed. Not gonna but lie. I hated that book. It's ass. <laughs> I thought I felt <laughs> I felt like stringing myself when I read it. <laughs> but never mind. That uh, never mind that. It's actually amazing that you know every story in fairy tale. You're legit a walking encyclopedia. Uh, thanks, but if I'm being honest, storytelling is the only thing I excel at. What do you mean? Well, it's funny, really. Truth be told, I suck at everything: cooking, singing, sports, school, you name it. It's actually a Surprised that I even made it into this academy. I know I should be happy that I got scouted, but compared to you guys, my talent isn't special. It's useless. What? No. Someone as worthless as me doesn't deserve to be here among talented people like you guys. I'm basically a joke. What do I do? I want to say something to comfort him, but I can't think of anything. Gosh, this is why I hate these sort of situations. No. Go, please don't talk about yourself like that. Just because you don't excel at these things doesn't mean you're useless. What? Oh, it doesn't mean you're useless. Uh, you can kind of tell since he looks like a homeless man. Hey, hey I mean, look like a homeless man, but it's still fashion. Well, um, ignoring that, Omar is right. For the most part, that is. You need to have some self-confidence. You have a unique talent, talent and ability that makes you special. So please remember that these feelings are not a reflection of your worth as a person. This, uh, this feeling won't go away anytime soon, so I won't lie to you and say that I'm alright. Thank, thank you. I mean it. I don't mention it. Also, if you need someone to talk to, just lend an ear. We are here for you. I can only lend one, e one ear, though, since that's all I got. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. I'm at a loss for words. Omar and Yukari handled this situation pretty well. They're so amazing. Gosh, I wish I could be more like them, especially Yukari. <laughs> I'm sorry to ruin the moment, but we should probably get going. Huh, why? Um, Omar promised to show me around and introduce me to the Ultimates. Then why don't we go as a group? No. We can't. You guys just finished talking to the people in the other classroom, but Keiko hasn't met them yet. Alright, that completely slipped my mind. Sorry for the inconvenience. Don't apologize, it's fine. We'll just regroup after you guys finished, okay? Sounds like a plan. Let's go, Keiko. Right. Right, I'll see you guys later. Uh, Xiao, bye bye. And just like that, Omar and Kego walked away to the classroom door next to us. I guess it's just you and me again, Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get going. <laughs> okay, who to next? Kego Watanabe. How can someone with an amazing talent feel inferior to us? For some reason, I can't shake the feeling that there is something inside him we haven't gotten to see yet. Maybe I'm just imagining it. You have gained one friendship point with Kego. <laughs> Who is next? Who is next? And here we are at the main entrance. Or the main hall, I think. You think? Well, this area looks like the main entrance. I saw it uh, in the brochure. Brochure? I don't remember there being any brochures last time I checked. Well, yeah, that's because the brochures are only for the people of Japan that were transferred to Europe. Since there's no place left in Japan, Hobo's Peak. But yeah, this place looks exactly like the main entrance on the brochure. Minus the part being that there's no windows in the giant door, of course. Maybe this is a prank made by Hope's Peak. Or maybe this is a prank made by Hope's Peak, or whatever. But <laughs> this really doesn't feel like a prank, does it? It feels more like a kidnapping. Kidnapping? I doubt it. There has to be another reason why we all woke up here. Or at least I hope so. Yo, Yukari! A little girl with blue hair from the other side of the hall is coming towards us. I, Diana, what are you doing here? I thought you were investigating the gym with Connor. I was, but I found something and, um... The little girl that was speaking suddenly stopped talking and stared at me intensely. Is something wrong, Diana? Hold on, hold Nicole. one second. Is that you? Who? I mean, how do you know my name? That took me by surprise. Oh my god, it is you! It's been a while! How have you been? 
Uh, you two know each other? Uh, yeah, me and Nicole used to go to the same summer camp. Summer camp? I'm sorry, but who are you? Hey, you don't remember me? Uh, no. Well, it has been four years since we last spoke. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Some of the voices are low. Sorry, but I still don't remember you. Ouch. Well, I guess it can't be helped. But I. But still, I'm happy that someone I got. I got into this. I know got into this camp. I forgot to ask, by the way. What's your talent? I'm the ultimate lucky student. Oh, really? That's pretty sick. It is. Hey, Diana. Yes. Now that you're here, can you please explain your talent to me? I have no idea what a conductor is. You don't know what a conductor is? Oh, sorry. Why did Yukari look ashamed after saying that? Hey, now, don't apologize. It's perfectly understandable. Okay, so, a conductor is basically someone who, direct, who directs the performance of an orchestra, choir, or band. They instruct in aspects such as tempo, volume, tone, and pitch to achieve the perfect desired performance. Conductors also go by a lot of different names. For boys, it's maestro, and for girls, it's maestra. Oh, I think I do know what a conductor is. And they, the people that go to, like, giant save and wave sticks around. We don't call it a stick, we call it a baton. But almost all choir conductors can uh, conduct without them. So yeah, that's basically my talent. What an incredible talent, don't you agree, Nicole? Yeah, it's amazing. I hope I can see you perform one day. Hey. When we get out of here, uh, you two are getting front row tickets to my next performance. Really? Oh my gosh, thank you, Diana. Well, I'd love to stay here and chat, but I really need to find Omar. Do you guys know where he is? He's in an empty classroom down the hall. Nicole. Thanks, Nicole. Wait, you still haven't told us what you found. Oh, oh, right. I'll tell you about it once I find Omar, okay? If you say so. Great. I'll see you girls later then. Bye, Diana. Uh, with that... Diana waves us goodbye and went down the hall. We should probably get moving too. Let's go, Nicole. I'm right behind you. Okay. So a conductor. Diana Cobbenbitch. Her height makes her look like a child, but she sounds uh, dedicated to her talents, and I can't help but envy that. She said we met before at a summer camp, but I really don't remember going to any summer camps as a kid. Maybe she got me confused with a different Nicole? Nonetheless, I hope I can spend more time with her and get to know her better. You have gained one friendship point with Diana. Okay. Now, where to? Alright, Nicole, this is it. The last six ultimates are here investigating the rooms up ahead. Uh, there is the kitchen that the twins are investigating. The infirmary where poor Connor's resting because they've got a massive headache. Or maybe they're faking it and they don't feel like investigating. Okay, whatever. And lastly, the AV room. Which room do you want to go in? Let's go to, let's go to the infirmary. <laughs> let's go to the infirmary first, okay? Uh huh. Hey, you or hey, what are you doing here? I swear to God, if Omar is with you. Hello to you too, Gemma. Also, don't worry, he isn't. Oh, you're back, Connor, my boy. How are you feeling? But better. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Also, thank you for looking out for him, Gemma. Raise my volume a bit more. He was a pain in the ass since I did most of the investigating, but you're welcome. The red haired, uh, -haired girl looks at me before continuing, but never mind that, Yukari. Uh, that, Yukari, are you going to introduce us to your friend or what? All right, guys, this is Nicole Mangardo. Uh, not only is she cute, but she's also the ultimate lucky student. You think I'm cute? Obviously. Yukari thinks I'm cute. <laughs> I am, am I blushing? My title is the ultimate tennis coach. And okay. You better not forget that or I'll be like super pissed. Oh, okay. <laughs> the ultimate tennis coach. In a way. Ultimate tennis coach. That's cool. So you help kids learn tennis. Kids, teenagers, grown-ups, etc. You name it. I can teach anyone how to play tennis and excel at it in just one lesson. Uh, doesn't matter if they are blind in a wheelchair or have a broken arm. I believe everyone. I believe everyone can play tennis. You must really care about your students then. Oh like shit! Shut up, you fucking sundere. But if they don't, uh, if they don't, I'll be super pissed. <laughs> That's our local sundere for you. 
Sh shut up, I'm not a tsundere. Anyways, it's your turn, Connor. What? God, you have not been paying attention. Introduce yourself to them. Uh, so, um, I kind of forgot to mention, but, so I'm in this game. <laughs> uh, yes, this is, um, this is me. <laughs> My fuck, <laughs> Um, wh wh whatever, <laughs> whatever. Uh, this guy needs to get a grip. Nice to meet you, Connor. Yeah? yeah? Uh, I'm not used to talking to other unless it's online. Can I g get a moment to collect myself, please? Take your time, Connor. Connor takes a deep breath before talking. S so, as the ultimate editor, I c can edit anything. V videos, f photos, uh, audios, and junk like that. But 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 my specialty is, is video editing. And and um um if you ever want me to edit stuff for you, I'd be m more than happy to. Oh, sick, really? I can finally promote my website and clothes. Thank Thanks, Connor. D -d Don't mention it! Man, Samantha was right. You do get easily flustered. Samantha? Connor's B -B uh, BFF. Honestly, it's actually surprising that they're... That they are friends. They are both complete opposites, and yet they... They, they are... S and yet they are BFFs. They do say opposites attract. I guess, but it's still shocking. Yeah. She's amazing. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, yes, Samantha is my BF. Um, oh, okay. Yes, Samantha is my BF. And I really appreciate her. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> I mean, like, I appreciate having her as a BF. There's nothing more. Okay, what the fuck? Connor. Uh, she has the person's uh, 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 just, uh, start editing and she introduced me to anime too, so it's- uh, What the fuck are you talking about? Connor? Uh, so I see because of the- uh, 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 the fuck? Connor, I swear to god! Uh, I'm so, so sorry! You know, it's really nice seeing you gush over uh, about your friends, Connor. R really You aren't used to getting complimented, are you? No. Correct me if I'm wrong, but do you by any chance have social anxiety? Yeah. I, I, I mean, it's not exactly a secret. Everyone could tell I have social anxiety just by looking at me. I used to be social, but some really b bad stuff happened to me at school, and I'd rather not get into details. I see. Well, we're here for you if you need anything. Okay. This guy ha isn't half bad. He kind of reminds me of myself when I was six. Well, wish we could say some more and talk, but we have some stuff to do. Come on, really? Oh, are you gonna miss us, Gemma? Gemma's face immediately turned red. Huh? It's it not it like I care or anything. <laughs> but that's just bad manners, you know. We'll be back, at or we'll be back after we finish investigating. Don't worry. You better. I'm sick of looking after this beta male, bro. What the fuck? Ouch. Sorry, Connor, but it's true. Anyways, I guess I'll be seeing you two later. Yeah. It was nice meeting you, Gemma and Connor. You too. <laughs> Connor, you're gonna just stand there all day saying nothing, or are you gonna look at Yukari and Nicole in the eyes like a man and say goodbye? Oh, um. I'm so, so sorry. And stop apologizing so much, you clod. So, so sorry, I mean. Bye, Yukari, and the coach. I, I mean Nicole. Sorry. <laughs> that was embarrassing. A uh, super counter, super counter, super counter, super counter, super counter. What the fuck? This guy has such a low self-esteem. Dude, calm down. It's okay. You tried too hard, Connor. You kind of looks like Gemma. Thank Again, thank you for looking after him, Gemma. You're truly an amazing gal. Whatever, it's whatever really. Believe me. G uh, give me two days with this guy. And this bad habit of his will be gone. Yukari smiles at Gemma before turning to me. Cool. Alright, let's get going, Nicole. Right. Goodbye, you two. Damn. Connor Diaz and Gemma Sky. Uh, Gemma might 
act like she's annoyed, but if you look past her soon to react, you can see that she is really care she is a really caring person. Connor, on the other hand, he seems insecure and not very talkative. But he is a kind he is a kind guy and to me that all matters, okay. I had fun talking to both of them. I hope I can be better friends with them the next time we bump into each other. Until then, I guess. You have one friendship point with Gemma, you have gained one friendship point with Connor. Damn. 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 So like for a freaking um Connor's backstory, um, like it's still like in here, I guess, somewhat as canon. So like his old backstory was that he got bullied and shit and he quit school and, and basically brought up that stuff. So something bad happened in school. But his new backstory is really freaking all um nice. Okay, so like the bio they wrote about him now, it says Connor Diaz is a very timid and shot is very timid and shy when talking to others. However, when it comes to editing stuff, he's the best around the world. He first started editing when a friend of his online encouraged him to do so. After a while, Connor's videos and uh, images have been get, uh, getting a lot of recognition, making him a legend on the internet. At first, Connor was in disbelief and in denial that he was good at something for once, but soon his excitement turned to obsession and now Connor Thinks that he's the only purpose in life is to edit so as not to dis as to not disappoint anyone. That bio does not seem like Connor. <laughs> from from what I've seen in, in here and the fact that I had to say so many fucking lines of sorry. God, I had to say sorry like so so many times. Um, <laughs> um that just does not that the bio does not seem like Connor. But yeah, um I'm gonna end the video here. We're gonna um, continue this game. It's gonna be a uh, second part. Uh, yeah. Um, I just at least wanted to get up to my part <laughs> before I ended the video. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys, uh, could, uh, I'll post the link to the game once it actually officially releases on April 1st. That'll be in the description, um, then. And I will uh, see y'all uh, next time. Peace out and, uh, bye bye